1. Explain the comparison operator in PowerShell. Answer. Comparison operators are used in PowerShell for comparing the values. Following are four types of comparison operators. 1. A quality comparison operator. 2. Match comparison operator. 3. Containment comparison operator. 4. Replace comparison operator. 2. What are CMD lets in PowerShell? Answer. The CMD lets are the commands which are written in a .NET language like VB or C Sharp introduced by the Windows PowerShell. The CMD lets return the object of Microsoft.NET Framework to the next commands in the pipeline. The PowerShell CMD lets follow the verb noun pattern, such as get help, set item. 3. Explain the PowerShell get command. Answer. The get command is a CMD let which displays all the installed commands on the computer system. It displays all the commands, filters, aliases, scripts, and applications. 4. Explain what is the use of array in PowerShell? Answer. The use of array in PowerShell is to run a script against remote computers. In order to create an array, you have to create a variable and assign the array. Arrays are represented by at symbol, they are represented as hash table but not followed by curly braces. For example, dollar $R machine equals at machine 1 inch, machine 2 inches, machine 3. 5. Further, differentiate between the concept of WMI between old and new ideas. Answer. Old WMI. 1. Uses old style native code providers and a repository for itself. 2. Available only on Windows as mentioned. 3. It has been more or less deprecated which means it is not focused on further improvement or development. New WMI. 1. Supports old style native code providers and a repository, as well as new style me providers as discussed. 2. Available only on Windows as mentioned. 3. This is the way forward. 3. It has an essentially stateless relationship with the remote machine. 6. Define scripting in PowerShell. Answer. PowerShell programming files contain a sequence, an array of commands, where each command shows in sequences of separate lines. When using a text script file, the file name has the .ps1 extension. PowerShell script can be run by 1. Typing commands in a text editor. 2. Saving a file with a .ps1 extension and executing the file. 7. What are the types of PowerShell operators? Answer. There are 9 types of operators. 1. Arithmetic operators. 2. Assignment operators. 3. Logical operators. 4. Comparison operators. 5. Redirection operators. 6. Split and join operators. 7. Type operators. 8. Unary operators. 9. Special operators. 8. What are arithmetic operators? Answer. There are. 1. Plus, addition. 2. Subtraction. 3. Asterisk, multiplication. 4. Division. 5. Percent, modulus. 9. What are the benefits of PowerShell? Answer. PowerShell is in scripting language so reusability possible for all time. 1. PowerShell which serves more functions compared to N. 2. It supports fully automation of tasks, so it is saving time. 3. It supports all .NET objects and forms. 4. It supports all background jobs. 10. What are the drawbacks of PowerShell? Answer. PowerShell which requires .NET framework which is cost effective. 1. Security risks. 2. It depends on the web server to execute. 2. Which may not write thing for any client. 2. This leads to additional space on a server so custom software development company does not allow to afford resources for this. 11. How do you avoid recursive prompt for each contained item? Answer. If you don't want to be prompted for each and every contained item, specify the recurse parameter. Example. Greater than remove item path C temp, new folder recurse. 12. What is the use of the pipeline in PowerShell scripting? Answer. When we have to join two command statements, we use the PowerShell pipeline technique. In this case, one command statement's output emerges as the second command statement's input. 13. What do you mean by get command in PowerShell? Answer. PowerShell's get command is applied to fetch CMD lets. For single instance, if anybody is searching CMD let between G and L, then the get command would look like greater than get command. 14. What is PowerShell's get service status function? Answer. The methods of get service status enable filtering of window services. 
PowerShell lists the services that are running and stopped through scripting. 15. Why do you use logical operators? Answer. The logical conditional operators are used to connect the expression statements collectively to form a single expression. The command expressions which contains the logical operators usually result in shows in the boolean values true, 1, or false, 0, 1, and 2, or 3, not. Thank you. Thank you.